we may finally get to see the best military strategist in the Galactic Empire in live action in the upcoming Ahsoka series. So let's dive into Thrawn's three favorite battle tactics that are absolutely brilliant. The first tactic was introduced in the Legends Thrawn trilogy book, Heir to the Empire. Dave Filoni liked it so much that he brought it into canon during the Clone Wars. It's called the Marg Sable. It's named after a Togruta flower that would open up in all directions like a sunburst every morning. During the Clone Wars, the Separatists were blockading the planet Ryloth when Ahsoka came up with a plan that would break the blockade, allowing the Republic forces to land on the ground. Anakin flew his Venator ship into the Separatist blockade ship, escaping in a pod just before impact, while Ahsoka had Colonel Yularen take his Venator and turn the battleship so that the hangar bay was facing away from the enemy ships. Then, the Starfighters were released released from the hangar bay and got up to attack speed and into formations while still in the visual shadows of the Venator. By the time the enemy seized the Starfighters, it was too late. They were outflanked from both sides and destroyed. Now how did Thrawn learn this? Towards the end of the Clone Wars, he was helping Anakin Skywalker track down Padme who had gone missing on Mokivja. Anakin told Thrawn during a fight with some battle droids that he would be a one-man Mark Sable going into the fight. Thrawn asked Padme what that meant. Padme explained that Ahsoka Tano, Anakin's former Padawan, developed the Mark Sable technique to defeat a droid blockade. Thrawn really liked the idea and he used it on a mission for the Empire in the Unknown Regions when he was fighting the Grisks. His next maneuver is called the Slingshot. This move is brilliant and it was used in very specific situations. One of Thrawn's unique strategies was studying his opponent's artwork their culture, and philosophies. He made sure he knew his enemy extremely well. If he knew an opponent relied on sensor readouts and signals in battle, he would employ the slingshot. All ships use thrusters that put off heat and propulsion signatures that are picked up on scanners and radar that give away their location. So what Thrawn would do is drop starfighters from the bottom hangar bay of the Chimera, completely unpowered other than minimal communications and scanners. The fighters would float down until they were grabbed by the capital ship's tractor beams and brought towards the front of the nose. As the starship gained momentum, the tractor beams would be cut and the nose of the Chimera would move out of the way, slingshotting the starships out towards the enemy ships. This worked perfectly when Thrawn discovered that another Grand Admiral had been stealing from the Empire. This particular Grand Admiral, Thrawn knew, relied heavily on his instruments, his scanners, and his sensors. So he was completely unaware of the TIE fighters Thrawn had slingshot around his ship and were then able to destroy the Grand Admiral's laser and ion cannons. The final strategy he used was specific to an enemy that used gravity well generators. It was called the pincer. Thrawn became a master of what's called micro jumps. These were precision hyperspace jumps over a short distance. A pilot could launch into hyperspace and then quickly pulled out by a planet's gravity. The gravity well generators used by the Grisks were an artificial form of this. Thrawn would split his fleet in half and attack an enemy head on with one half. With the other half, he would jump to a nearby star system. When the Grisks would activate their gravity well generators, the second second half of the fleet would launch into hyperspace and let the gravity well generators pull them out so they would end up behind or flanking the enemy ship. Ordinarily, you couldn't be so accurate when you dropped out of hyperspace. You would just travel at sublight speeds until you reached a predetermined destination. These micro jumps to outflank an enemy caught them with their pants down every single time. Thrawn would also use the TIE defenders to accomplish this micro jump as they were one of the only TIEs that had a hyperdrive. Click here to see why the TIE defender was Thrawn's favorite starfighter and may the force be with you.